And you can see the one-year age advantage for the Russian fighter. Also has a one-inch height advantage. Fighting out of the blue corner, wearing brown, standing with his Hall of Fame trainer, Freddie Roach. 30 victories, including 17 wins by knockout, with three defeats and one draw. Originally from IET, but now living, training, and fighting out of Montreal, Quebec, Canada, the challenger, former light heavyweight champion of the world, Mesdames and Messieurs, Jean And fighting out of the red corner with his trainer, former world champion, John David Jackson. Official weight, 174, three quarter pounds. He has an unblemished professional record. 28 victories, including 25 wins by knockout. Without a loss and one draw. From Celia Binks, Russia, the reigning and defending, undefeated, universally recognized, undisputed, Light heavyweight champion of the world, Tommy Gasparra, Sergey Crusher, Povale. Sergey, John, John. You gentlemen received my instructions. And Touch gloves now, man. You're boxing at the bell. God bless you both. Touch gloves. One of the best pound for pound for recognized man at light heavyweight has big plan through the guy who's given him the. Their fight last year was for a period of time. Jean Pascal enters the ring tonight fighting with what I believe to cushion some of. Uh, his chin against Kovalev. It, it, it actually gives hey, Sergey a target to go for. The target for him makes it more visible. In other words, you're hey, saying go, if you were Pascal, you'd have shaved the search up. and development type enterprise for Kovalev. Pay attention to Sergey when he, he sets it up with that straight left hey, to the body and he's looking to come back. over top. Michael Griffin's going to call that a slip, not a knockdown. Pascal did get hit, but it wasn't enough to, to bring him down. The, uh, the fighter who thought he did score the knockdown. Well, right hand of the body well, by Kovalev. And only one for Jean Pascal so far. Pascal gets in a left hook. Crowd gets very... Pascal, Pascal comes in and he gets hit with a jab. That is a knockdown because he jumped into a straight jab. Referee says no knockdown, it's no knockdown. That's for scoring purposes. The reality is difference in punching power between these two guys. Bernard. Well, Sergey Kovalev has the type of power. That's the real big difference in these two guys because they also have a snap on those punches, you know, that which is too, of course done with the with the combination. See if there's some evidence that Roach has affected a change in Pascal's style. Haven't seen it. We see that's when Kovalev feels really comfortable. He starts playing with his opponent and stuff like that. Good left hook by Jean Pascal. Now Kovalev captures Pascal with a right hand. He, you know, he doesn't like it, and his body language shows it all. That's Kovalev with a chopping right hand over the top. Now he sweeps the right hand. Pascal seemed to have the advantage for a moment. Um, Jim, he's really using the jab. He's throwing the right hand. He was off balance when he threw the right hand. The opportunity is he going to have early in this fight? And what everybody took away from Kovalev's... But, you know, Pascal, hopefully he looked at the tapes. All right, and remember, he drops his left hand every time. All right, the right hand's right there for you, okay? As you throw the right hand, give me that left hook, baby. period of time. Freddie says that he tried to discourage Pascal from wanting to work with him because he himself felt like he needed back to his an early work in progress. Stop, stop. And there's a tackle by Pascal. The training, and I don't, a good right hand by Pascal, I don't think that Freddie Roach had enough time to be able to give him 100% enough. 
and I do see Pascal making efforts to throw the jab. He's in there both with both guys, and he has a really good jab when he uses it. But he, he looks to throw the big bomb. He looks to throw left hand or the big right hand. Kovalev has really beaten him up this round. Yeah, he's starting he right back. And where did the power come from? Right. It's, it's I, I want you to think. Good left hook by Pascal. He's trying to throw every punch right, with, right, with the punch punches right. to make a statement. Hard left hook to the body by Kovalev. That's the kind of punch that hurts a fighter. You see Pascal beginning to back away from that one. Kovalev doing a good job blocking body shots with his arms there. Got caught with a left hook. Waiting to see if he will have to have a leg removed. Both guys hit with a counter, and you can see when right hands go right down the pipe when you stand in front of a guy. Jim, about the beard. If that beard could get the Montreal commissioner, he's, he said he would make Pascal shave, and obviously he didn't. He's showing a pretty good beard tonight anyway. Taking some big shots. Kovalev has not yet staggered Pascal. He didn't go all the way down, but the ropes held him up. And he's the first official knockdown of John Pascal's entire career. So as Max says... Well, he had a quality chin, Jim, but he also, I think he was rocked early. You know, the attention. The attention from those right hands that he just got hit with, another right hand. John Pascal is not throwing back in this round, Bernard. Why you know is what? It's not, it's not wise to do that with a guy like mean Sir. that the seemingly lethargic and... Hey! Not terribly. Double jab, right hand, left hook, okay? All right, but you can average per round the CompuBox numbers. No rush. No rush. At this point, that if Pascal wants to win, since he's losing every round, uh, he can turn around the fight with a big shot of his own. He's critically in command here. Right, right, right hand. And you know what? That will probably be the one that end the fight because he's getting lined right up with. Maybe watching Jean Pascal getting old all at once as Michael Griffin watches and chooses whether to stop. I think he's so out of it. He's just in a survival mode now. He's in a survival. He should be watched over real careful. And I think the referee would jump in with four, four, more, four or five more punches that Sergey would throw. John Pascal. So. Just he didn't like that Patterson hey, had said about him. Kovalev is punished, among other things, before the fight. True. Pascal, look at this real carefully. Once Sergey starts throwing punches because he's seriously that, but this is the nature of the game. He just got hit with a straight right hand, and I believe the referee will stop. Throw in the towel. That's an extremely difficult situation for Freddie. Maybe, although it's such a. You can't keep taking this kind of fucking punishment. Okay. You okay? All right, listen to me. James Pascal's got hit with a straight right hand, but now he's so he hit with a double right hand. What he should have done is try to hold and protect himself because right now having to deal with the frustration of watching her bringing a big shot. Maybe that's not the worst idea right now. Um, Catch if he has that energy to do that. And right now, you know, he might regain it. Jim Pascal, you've been in the ring. You don't want to get hit like this. You want to grab. You want to stay close. You want to do all you can. And if you're wondering why Cole thing from the kitchen sink to try to end the fight changing shot from Pascal, he's gonna stick with what he's doing. He's gonna stuff. He got hit with a stiff jab. The second. And right now he's just waiting in the way to get hit with a good shot. I see this fight being stopped. That's a clear, th uh, you know, reason why I said earlier that he's not trying Wants to, to have something left with which to fight again in the future. He has to consider yeah, yeah, stopping the fight. One more. No. No, 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 no. no. Right, so Just here we are in the seventh. Harold, how do you have it through six? Round five, I scored 10 to eight without a knockdown. It's a knockdown in, the, in round five with uh, Pascal's gloves. No, no, no. Damage. I think he's going to stop him in this round. Please keep an eye on him. If he goes to the ropes and he gets hit, the States Boxing Writers Association, because he is appreciated for his humanity as well as for his skill in training fighters. That's in the center of the thing. You better do something this round, oh, no, or I'm no. going to stop the fight. Or the in round. the center of the ring and keeping his back off the ropes in this round, and it's forced him to be. A little... Well, maybe this will be enough for him to go back to the corner and say, "See, no, he, I he, he made an impassioned plea to Freddie. He said, trust oh, me, God, I need God. more along the lines of what they want.' But he's taking at least oh, as much oh, punishment oh, with far time from the do what he want to do later. 
And I agree with you. And now there's a, a commission doctor, a Canadian commission doctor, and it looked as though his intention was okay. going to be to stop the fight, the fight, but he's just looking. Take a deep breath. You okay? So for the second year in a row, it was a good blow. Freddie Roach is, like I said, a veteran trainer. He's he seen that fighter didn't have a shot. Did the right thing. There yep. comes, you know, to take care of his business. So once again. And still, the undefeated light heavyweight champion of the world, Sergey Russian.